Hi everybody. We want to explore how degrowth visions can be better informed by feminist ideas around the concept of care. How can we reset the growth imaginary and inform radical change through recentering care? As Donna Haraway in 2016 stated, we need to go beyond the discourse of the Capitalocene and Anthropocene, not only because it is wrong-headed and wrong-hearted, but because it saps our capacity for imagining and caring for other worlds. How can feminist thinking help us recover from the current pandemic and move towards social and environmental justice? How can we build societies based on a commons of caring relations, away from the imperative of growth and towards a more conscious and equitable planetary well-being? What would it mean for the degrowth movement to be informed by committed ecological feminism? How do we imagine radical futures that are inclusive and that truly embrace diversities? We keep wondering, where are the voices of disabled and chronically ill within these radical futures? And how do disabled people imagine radical futures? How can we include the knowledges and articulations of disability justice within the growth? And what can be learned in the sphere of care from the experiences of disabled people? How do we design spaces and times that are more inclusive and safe and comfortable for everyone? And how can we disrupt patriarchal dynamics within these spaces? We want to look at the growth from an intersectional lens, one that truly accounts and reflects on diversity, diversity of gender, of class, ethnicity, age, but also diversity of bodies, of abilities and disabilities, emotions and experiences. We believe that a feminist perspective is essential to understanding care as central within degrowth and within our economies and societies. As feminists, we raise questions over how health, aging and ability can be recognized while rearranging economies towards degrowth. Essential questions then are, who will organize life in a world that is degrowing? Who will provide care for whom and what and under what circumstances? Another important element of this key conversation is asking how can we change our relations of care among humans and other than human beings so that future societies are just for all living beings. To start answering these questions, we need you. If you're interested in joining the dialogue, we invite you to share your stories, films, performances, articles, art, poetry. We hope that with your contributions, we can organize workshops and activities that open up space to talk about gender power relations, the body, health and well-being and care for nature, self and others from different points of view as part of a diverse and inclusive caring community for radical change. We look forward to hearing from you 